So how do I become a crypto millionaire? Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are asking yourself this and how much do you actually need to hold to be able to acquire a million dollars or whatever it is that you're trying to do, like pay off your house, which is in my case. Now, I sat down last night and I actually broke out a spreadsheet and I wrote down six different coins and went through this entire thing of how many coins I need to hold, how much money I need to invest and what I need to do basically to prepare for the next all-time high, which hopefully is going to be more than the previous one. So my name is Chump Change XD. This is pure speculation and not financial advice. Just had to get that out of the way. But let's dive into the spreadsheet that I actually broke down. I'm not going to make this video too long, and we'll go from there. Let's do it. All right, so real quick, here we are at CoinGecko. This is where I got the previous all-time highs and the current prices of these coins in this spreadsheet that I'm going to show today. So I did Dogecoin, Flux, Ethereum Classic, Ergo, Ether, and Bitcoin. Now, those are six coins that I personally hold, and this is why I chose these coins to break down and find out how much I need to hold for my own personal bags. Now, if we scroll down on this site in CoinGecko, it shows you the previous all-time high, which it shows $69,044 basically, right? So I actually took that number and I brought it over to this spreadsheet. Now, this is the top of the spreadsheet just to break it down first, and then I'll pull up the whole picture of the entire thing. I did this on my other computer in Excel, so it's just going to be pictures, as you can see. Now, all-time high list is right here. We have Doge at $0.73, cents, Flux at $3.33, ETC $167, Ergo $29. ETH $4,878 and Bitcoin $69,044. All right. Now, what I did here was this is the all time high. This right here is how many coins you needed at that all time high to have a million dollars. Okay. So if you could see Bitcoin at $69,000, you needed 14.48 basically to get a million dollars. Okay. Now, over here, coins price today, Bitcoin $16,677. If you look over on the right, this is how many coins you need right now to have a million dollars at today's price. Now we have 59 coins, basically 60 coins. All right, 59.96, basically 60 coins of Bitcoin to be able to have a million dollars at today's market rate. Now you can see all the way through, this is just the beginning of the spreadsheet. This is how I started to break it down and I wanted to see how it differed between coins. Now you can see Ergo went from 33,807 to 793,651. It's kind of crazy to look at it like this, but either way, nonetheless, let's get to the actual full spreadsheet. So now what I did was break it down into investment section and into acquire section, because obviously us as miners, we're acquiring coins daily using our machines to mine these coins and the normal average Joe might possibly be investing into said coins, right? Now, looking at the coin's current price, obviously at the time of recording, say for Doge, it's seven cents, okay? At seven cents, how much money do you need to invest into Dogecoin to get a million dollars at the next all-time high if Dogecoin was to pump to 73 cents, okay? You would need $95,890, then I broke it down into different categories, 500,000, 100,000, and 50,000, just to show you guys you could break this down, obviously. You just divide this number into two, and then so on and so forth. You guys kind of understand what I'm saying. Now, Ergo actually impressed me the most out of this entire sheet. Ergo, you only need $42,597. Obviously, I say only, but it's, it's a lot of money, right? Out of this sheet, that is the least amount of money you actually need to invest, assuming that Ergo is going to go back to its all-time high eventually, right? It might not, but hopefully it does. As you can see up top, it was $29.58, and now it's $1.26. So if Ergo ever decides to do something with their project and decide to pump again, gets to $29, it could be a good day for a lot of you guys if you have invested this kind of money. Now, looking at these numbers, I think about buying a ten dollars or $20,000 ASIC. Instead of spending... $20,000 or $10,000 on an ASIC, invest four times the amount and just buy the Ergo and then sit on it and you could have a million dollars. Kind of interesting. But if we look all the way to the right, if you're only trying to acquire a little bit of money, $50,000, you can invest $2,130 and potentially get back to the all-time high of just around $30 and get $50,000. That's a pretty good return on investment. Again, not financial advice. It's just kind of a crazy way I was looking at how to break this down. Hopefully this helps. Now looking at the bottom, Dogecoin, Flux, ETC, Ergo, ETH, and BTC. These are the amount of coins at this current moment 
that we need to acquire. And this was the one that I was most interested in because I'm looking at my bags on my, uh, you know, my phone, my wallet app, or just my hodl bag, whatever. And I'm trying to figure out how much Doge do I need to make 50 grand? Do I need to make a hundred grand? Do I need to make a million dollars? Now, this is the amount of coins that I need to accumulate according to the previous all-time high to get set amount of money, 50K, 100K, 500,000, one mil. It is all laid out right here for you. For example, if we look right here at say Dogecoin and you wanted to acquire $50,000 next time Doge hits 73 cents, you're gonna need to have 68,493 coins in your bag to get 50 grand or have the amount of 50 grand worth of USD value if Dogecoin ever gets back to 73 cents. And now let's say if you're looking at Ergo, which is the one that again impressed me the most, 1690, 1690 coins will get you $50,000 on the next bull run according to the previous all time high if we reach or expand past that amount in the next run. So I thought it was quite interesting. I mean, I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this sheet. So I honestly hope that this helped out a lot of you guys figure out how to create your own spreadsheet and kind of give you guys some answers as to what you guys need to acquire if you're holding any of these coins anyways. At least you'll be able to see it, you know, right here on the screen. This took me a little bit of time to kind of figure out how to go about doing this. But now that I kind of got it under wraps, I can actually add more coins to it. And I will try to transition this into a Google Doc and put it down in the description below at some point. I just don't have time to do that today. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And I really do hope it helped some people because it definitely helped me kind of see the bigger picture here. If you appreciated this content, go down there, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. And if you guys haven't seen this video right here, please go check it out and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.